Number 25. Convert the values of KC to values of KP or the values of KP to values of KC. And then we have letter D here. So we have a balanced equation of H2O liquid, which will yield H2O gas. So I'm just going to write that out. So we have H2O liquid, which comes to equilibrium with H2O gas. Okay. Now they gave me a KP value. So we have to just convert the KP into the KC value. Well, how are we going to do that? There's one equation in which has KP and KC all in one shot. It's this formula. So I would just memorize this formula, okay? So now all we got to do is just plug in what we know and to solve for the KC. So they gave us the KP value. They told us that this was 0 0.122. So that's all good. We're solving for KC. So I'm just going to put this as X. And now we should know these three other things. Now the R value is a standard value. And there's two R values in chemistry. There's 0 0.0821. And then there's 8.314. If you're using pressures and gases, which is what we're using here, we're going to use the 0 0.0821. Remember, the 8.314 is only used for energy, but we're not talking about energy here, so that gets scratched out. Capital T stands for temp, always, right? But in order to plug it in here, it needs to be in Kelvin. They gave me the temp in Celsius. So the first thing I have to do is I have to convert this 50 degrees into Kelvin. How do we do that? Oh, we just plus 273, right? So 50 plus 273, I get 323 Kelvin. And that's the number that goes here. Okay, now delta N gas. Remember, delta just means a change in anything, right? So I just wrote down what delta N really means. It's the number of moles of gas of the products minus the number of moles of gas of the reactants. Remember, an N value just means the moles. So I have to find out how many moles of gas do I have on both sides. Look at those states. But on the left side, I see that I have a liquid. This is not a gas. So I don't even care about it. Get rid of it. But then I have a gas over here, right, on the product side. Now let's just tally up how many uh, moles of gas I have on both sides. Well, I see that I don't have a number here. Remember, that just means one. So I have one mole for my whole product side. And since I have nothing on my left side, I have zero moles on my left side. So products minus reactants. One, maybe I'll just put it like that. One minus, eh, yeah, that's fine. One minus zero is one. So this is going to be one. Now we have everything. Let's plug it and play. KP was 0 0.122. This is going to equal KC, which is what we're trying to solve for, X times 0 0.0821 times 323. Remember, these are both in parentheses. And then it's just going to be raised to the first. And remember, anything raised to the first is itself, right? So you, we don't even care about this. So let's see, 0 0.122 equals x times whatever this is, 0.0821 times 323, I get 26.5183. Remember, it's raised to the first, so it's the same, so I can basically kind of like skip that step. We want to solve for x, so just get rid of this on both sides, right? 26.5183 divided by 26.5183. This goes bye-bye. And now we have x, which remember was equal to the kc value. So that's what's going to tell us, right? So 0 0.1, 0 0.122 divided by that answer. And they gave me three sig figs. So I'll give three sig figs back. I'm going to put it in scientific notation. 4.60 times 10 to the, what is that, negative 3? 1, 2, 3. Yep. And there you go. 
Casey and KP, ooh, that's color clashing. Casey and Casey and KP, remember, have no units. They're just acting as like a ratio value. So ratios don't have units. And there you go. So hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for viewing the video. And I, I hope to see you guys in later lessons, all right? Be well, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.